welcome to my channel and welcome to day three of my 25 days of craftmas series. Today I'm showing you how to make these cute Christmas mitten favors. There are two styles to choose from and I think they are both adorable. They can be filled with candy or small toys and they make such a cute favor for Christmas. I'm excited to show you how to make your own. So let's go take a look at the supply list and get started. For this project, you'll need some cardstock, and I just used red and white. You'll need liquid glue, hot glue and a glue gun, Christmas embellishments, some candy, and of course, your Cricut, a cutting mat, and the cut file. So grab your supplies and head over to your computer. The first thing we need to do is grab the SVG file we'll be using for this project. You can get it for free on my blog at burtonavenue.com. I keep all the SVG files for the projects I make and share in my free SVG library. These files will work with all kinds of cutting machines and they're free to everyone. Once you're on my site, just go to free SVG files and then free SVG library. You will need a password to get into the library and there are instructions on the screen if you need to get one. For this project, we're going to be using the cut file called Christmas Mittens, BA2103. To find it, just use your browser search and type in 2103. Once you've found the file, go ahead and click on that link and the files will be downloaded onto your computer. So I'm going to show you how to set up and cut these designs in Cricut Design Space. If you're unsure of how to unzip and import designs into Cricut Design Space, be sure to check out my step-by-step -step tutorial. So this is what the design will look like when you first import it onto the canvas screen. There are enough pieces to create two mitten favors. The first thing we're going to do is resize everything so that it will work with this project. And I am going to change the height of everything to 11 inches. So you're gonna go up here and close the lock and then change your height to 11 inches. And then I'm gonna go down here and click on the minus sign to make everything a little bit smaller. Now this will make the finished size of your mittens about five inches tall. Of course, you can make them bigger or smaller depending on what you're gonna fill them with. So resizing the mittens is actually the only thing that we need to do on this canvas screen. So now we're gonna go up and click on the green make it button and what we see here is Cricut dividing our design into the different colors. So this first mat we're going to cut in white cardstock and this second mat we're gonna cut in red cardstock. If everything looks good, you can click on the green continue button. Once Design Space finds your machine, you'll be taken to this screen. Make sure that your dial is set to cardstock and then you can go load your mat. So you're gonna place a piece of cardstock on your cutting mat and smooth it down. Load it into your Cricut by pressing the up and down arrow button. When your Cricut is ready to cut, you'll see the C button light up. Press that and the machine will begin cutting. When everything has been cut, you can press the up and down arrow button again to unload your mat. To remove the cardstock, you'll want to slightly bend the cutting mat and carefully pull off the cardstock pieces. And then you can place on your second sheet of cardstock. We're gonna start off by making the mitten that has the white lining and cuff. So you're gonna grab one of the mitten pieces with the designs cut out and add a thin line of glue around the edge. Then press the white and red pieces together. Next, grab one of the plain red mittens and add a thin line of glue around the edges of that piece. Make sure you don't put any glue at the top of the cuff. Now you can press the two mitten pieces together. The white cardstock should be sandwiched between the two red pieces. Finally, glue the cuff into place. Next, we're going to do the mitten without the lining and cuff. Grab one of the mitten pieces and add a thin line of glue around the edge. Remember, don't put any glue at the top of the cuff. Then, press the front and back pieces together. To finish off the mitten, you can glue on some Christmas embellishments. I used some pine, berries, and a little jingle bell. And then I glued on a little bow. Once the glue has completely dried, you can open up the mitten and add your treats. And that's it. Now you have some super cute mitten favors for Christmas. If you enjoyed this project and want to see more like it, 
be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you'll get notified each time I post something new.